Hey guys, Thunder E here, and I have the Tablets of Moses. No, nah, sorry, I meant the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra right here with Goku. And sadly, Vegeta fans, you get the plus. So <laughs> these are Samsung's brand new tablets right here, and they are big. They are really big. Starting off with the Galaxy Tab um, S10 Plus. This is a 12.4 inch tablet, which is you know, standard size or close to standard size that people use nowadays, which is nice. But Samsung said, no, 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 no. We gotta go big and bold. So we've got a 14.6 inch tablet. This is the Ultra. It is a massive tablet from Samsung. And today, you know what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna game. We're gonna game on these tablets to see how they function and also if it's very viable. But let's take a look at the hardware. The first thing you notice is the display. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous display. It also is a first anti-reflective display from Samsung, which is pretty nice to see here. It means that the lights that are bouncing on, you really can't see them that well, and also it cuts it down. So kind of like the, uh, the Samsung S95D TV, which a lot of you complain about, and that TV is awesome for anti-reflectiveness. So I do like that fact that it's in here. This is, as I mentioned again, this was 14.6 inches. It comes with either 12 or 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, we have quad speakers around the device, which is pretty nice. And it's also really thin as well, which is also pretty cool. Now, the power and volume buttons are on the top side here. We've got cameras at the back, which is nice. And you've got a place to charge your S Pen, which is also very nice as well. Now, processor. This is where Samsung took a deviation from last year. It's been powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 9300 Plus. Yeah, I know, not a Snapdragon processor. Both devices are powered by that. So we're gonna see what kind of performance we get from it in terms of benchmarks and also some gameplay. Now, before we go to that, let's look at the other tablet here, the Vegeta version. Again, sorry, Vegeta fans. This is 12.4 inches. It's also got bigger bezels than its big brother right here. You can see how thick the bezels are in comparison. Uh, this also comes about 12 gigs of RAM. You do have the Dimensity 9300 here, and it's also easier to carry. To be fair, this is the more portable uh, tablet uh, of the two. But let's take a look at benchmarks. So Geekbench numbers for both devices with the 12.4 inch tablet, we have single core is 2,177, multi-core is 7,200, while the 14.6 single core is 2,200 and multi-core is 7,244. So bigger is slightly better, which is nice to see with performance wise. And then let's go ahead and take a look at those GPU scores, see what we actually get for that. And with GPU scores, 12,058 on the 12.4, and 12,214 on the 14.6. Now these numbers are not as high as some other devices, at uh, least powered by either Snapdragon or um, something like the Apple A18 Pro. But let's go ahead and jump into some games. So gaming on this device is very tricky and interesting because it's a tablet, Controllers are probably the best thing for you. So we're gonna start off with Call of Duty Warzone, which is a game you can play with controllers on this device. Works pretty well, very fluid gameplay. We played two different settings. We first played uh, at high visual graphic quality, and we're, we're getting about 30 frames per second. Um, graphics, of course, were at its maximum. GameC was able to play well, but 30 frames per second was pretty much what we were getting. And then we switched it over to basically FPS, uh, um, compatibility and we got higher frame rates closer to 60 frames per second. This tablet currently cannot do 120 and played some Xbox Game Pass. Now this one kind of annoyed me a little bit because it was just capped at 30 frames per second. Um, and it, again, it depends on your internet speeds and connections. I do have a fast internet speed. So enjoying Game Pass on here is something that I think I would like in general, just the whole concept of it. But Capture 30 frames per second is just something that mm, it is what it is. Now, going ahead to check out games like um, Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact actually played at 60 frames per second. There were some dips down to about 55, but 60. And again, it also ran really cool. Settings were for the game was set at 60 frames per second that I played on the 12.4 inch and it played really, really well. What you're gonna notice is that the gameplay sessions actually work out well. But what you're also gonna notice is that because of the tablet, playing on screen with your fingers is a difficult task. So playing something like PUBG, 
uh, mobile, I was able to get a lot of kills, but also I died really quickly. And I got 60 frames per second on that as well. So it's in game. The Dimensity 9300 Plus is a solid, um, you know, chip and it does a really good job uh, for gaming performance. But controller compatibility is something that's a big issue and I think hopefully we'll see more of that come into the Android space. Now, let's talk about the speakers. It's got quad speakers on here, which is pretty nice. So let's take a listen to some of the gameplay sessions and also some music and we'll go ahead and just yap some more. Speakers were good, sounded nice, pretty clear, gaming performance is great, but you know one thing that I noticed while gaming is, even though the speakers were loud and clear, the experience of hearing the gunshots, they were loud, but they were not finite, which is what brings me to the pair of headsets, that, the headphones that you see me uh, using in this video. They're not a sponsor, this is not a sponsored segment, and uh, by the way, let me grab the headphones. Here are the NWM1. These are super cool headphones. So these are open ear headphones. What that means is that you can hear your surrounding, but the design allows this to rest really comfortably on your head, top strap, and also around your ear. There's no pressure. And you've got these massive drivers. It's called, they're mini speakers. They're not drivers, they're just mini speakers. So you place them and the gaming experience with this is so much more enhanced because those gunshots sound better. You can actually get you can actually get those footsteps really recognized, you know, where somebody is. So you could actually see me just demolish a whole crew in Call of Duty Warzone because I knew where they were. I could hear them quite clearly. Great pair of headphones. There is no active noise cancellation because you would not be able to get good active noise cancellation with this, this kind of design. So you can't use them on a flight, but if you're at home in an office listening studio or something, and you want to hear your environment and listen to music at its best quality, this will do the job for you. So check them out, use the link in the bio. Again, not sponsored, but uh, they sent this out. and I really, really like them. Okay, moving back to the tabs. So, you know, the conclusion here is it can game really well. The Dimensity 9300 Plus does not hinder it in any form or fashion. Some of the games are really not optimized fully. Again, the Android, Android tablet experience is not something that's been fully pushed or optimized. So basically those games I'm playing are games for smartphones. It hasn't been pushed or optimized for a tablet in that regard. Um, the other thing to mention is the keyboard case, keyboard case, which I don't know, I've got mixed feelings about it. Um, it's got the shorter keyboard layout, which looks kind of nice but there's no trackpad so you end up touching the screen a lot more and you see a ton of fingerprints on the de device as well it is good it works really well as a stand especially if you're gaming and you really just want to kind of use the touch controls on there and i do like the housing for the s pen but i feel like last year's keyboard case uh cover was just much better and felt a little bit more flushed out now overall i do like the tablets but i think to be fair i would go with the 12.4 inch uh, the 14.6 sounds nice and lovely, but it is pretty big. It is a laptop. Again, 14 inch laptop, tablet, tablet. That's what you have here. It's pretty big. So for me, the 12.4 is more of the size I'll go with. So finally, Vegeta actually won something, which is actually pretty cool. So anyway, give me, give me your thoughts, guys. What do you think about the, the tablets? Are you psyched about Samsung's new tablets, both of them? Uh, do you think this is something that you would use? Uh, whether it's the 14.6 um, inch tablet here with Goku or the, uh, of course, the really cool dripped out Adidas Vegeta at 12.4. Wallpapers are in the link below. If you have any questions in the comments, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.